Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to talk about my own personal journey and transformation with doing intermittent fasting daily for just over two years just recently. So this is something that I just became aware of through looking into certain various different health topics and I found so much scientific research on this and at the time I was super super skinny, weak and frail as you can see in this photo here and I wanted to optimize my human growth hormone and testosterone production and it's been shown through so much scientific research that it increases it significantly in men anywhere up to 2000% increase in human growth hormone production and anywhere from 200 to 400% increase in testosterone and as we know there is so many pro bodybuilders out there that take synthetic forms of these and why do they do that because it helps increase the muscle mass whilst reducing the body fat percentage it also has a whole host of other health benefits as well but i wanted to do it to make it so i could optimize muscle growth in the shortest period of time and long term as well whilst keeping my body fat percentage at a very low amount so what i did was started combining calisthenics training which is body weight training with the intermittent fasting and I found within a year period I went from this to this where I gained around 10 kilos of muscle within a year and managed to sustain a very low body fat percentage at the same time and yes obviously training was one of the main factors but I do not believe that I would have got the results that I had done if I had not been doing a daily intermittent fasting alongside it so it definitely helped me optimize my hormone production and it also massively lowers insulin which is a fat storage hormone and gets your body to produce an abundance of glucagon which is a fat burning hormone so i was getting all of these amazing benefits for my physique which just helped me go in the direction of achieving the dream physique which i did within that year period and i still have it now as you can see still looking quite low in body fat percentage really good muscle development and yeah my whole journey with this yes it did give me the benefits of my body but it also helped me overcome issues around eating because what i found leading up until this point for years no matter what different diet i tried out i just wanted to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat like so many times throughout the day and it just got to a point in my life where i just got fed up with it it was driving me mad mentally because I was obsessing over food and thinking about food all the time, never satiated. And I found a lot of time the food that I was eating just wasn't giving me any energy whatsoever. And it was just driving me crazy. And at the point I was with one of my partners that I'm not with anymore, and she was finding the same thing as well. It's just switching from one diet to another and just always thinking about food. And we both got to the point where we said enough is enough and then we started trying intermittent fasting we found that it helped us overcome all of those issues which is so amazing so i could stop thinking about food so many times throughout the day so i could have more brain power to focus upon other more important things in my life such as this youtube channel and health coaching people and spending time with more high level people and just doing so many more things that i wanted to do and be focused upon without my mind drifting off and thinking about food and i also found it gave me freedom where i didn't need to carry around food me when i was going out and about because at one point i switched to a high carb low fat raw vegan diet which was predominantly fruits and green leafy vegetables and with this diet and other types of restrictive diets that i was on leading up until this intermittent fasting journey, when I go out, I'd be concerned I wouldn't be able to get access to the foods that I need. So I'd have to carry loads of food with me. And if I was traveling from one country to another, which I do on a regular basis, I'd then have that inconvenience of carrying food with me. So I found they also liberated me from that. I could go out almost all day and not have to worry about not having access to the type of foods that I need to eat for the specific type of diet that I was off. And so I forgot to add at least what type of diet that I actually ate with this. So I ate a vegan plant-based diet that's so high carbohydrate with a moderate amount of protein and a moderate amount of fat. But 
you do not necessarily need to eat this type of diet. This is just the type of diet that I am naturally drawn to for many different reasons. But I know of so many people that be in all different types of diets, whether it's the bulletproof diet, the ketogenic diet, the carnivore diet, the paleo diet, the low carb diet, combined with intermittent fasting, and they have got very similar results to me. So whether you're someone that wants to lose weight or gain weight, you can do intermittent fasting with whatever diet that you desire. And it was just absolutely amazing. I found also that my energy levels became way more stable, had way more, and still do, all of these benefits. I have them now, still. Um, the cognitive benefits got massively improved, way more focused, alert, memory improved, massively and I just found that my mood was way more balanced and still is now and I just felt way better overall mentally and physically holistically. I don't know it's a whole host of sports performance benefits because before I was into intermittent fasting and calisthenics I used to do a lot of running and cycling and I had a high level of sports performance but I found once I started doing intermittent fasting I could train harder, longer recover way quicker and get a whole host of other sports performance and sports recovery benefits whilst it also massively reducing inflammation so then I could train more consistently and train harder and get greater benefits with growing my muscles and achieving the body that I desire. So I want to add on to the energy that I've mentioned earlier. Yes I know it's a massive increase in my energy levels way more stable throughout the day and I found that Instead of a lot of time with other specific diets where I'd eat food and my energy levels would drop, instead I found that that just completely vanished because my blood sugar levels weren't going up and down all day. And then when I'd actually come to eating my food, I found that I was way more disciplined, that I found it easier to stick to eating the specific diet and foods that I wanted to eat that were in the diet that I'd chosen to eat. And that it just completely eliminated all cravings for all types of unhealthy processed foods and various other non-vegan foods that I did not want to be eating whatsoever. So it just helped me become insanely disciplined so I could easily stick to a diet without thinking about foods loads, not craving loads of other different foods that I didn't want to that would make me feel bad and get me off a track with the goals that I had with my health and body. And it just helped me develop the most healthiest relationship with food, where I found that it was easy to stick to and it still is now. And obviously that is very liberating because so many people have issues around food and a lot of time people can try and get themselves to go on a diet and they are just using their will and strict discipline to keep them on it. But a lot of time people will fall off of it because it's, well, what I should say is it's only so much pushing that you can do. And after a while, if your body's really not wanting to do it and it's not working for you, it's gonna be hard to stick to it. And a lot of time it's just gonna affect you in a negative way psychologically. And why I keep moving around is ants keep crawling over me, little buggers. What I found, and what I found with doing daily intermittent fasting over the last two years is that I can actually go multiple days without eating and have no desire for food whatsoever. So it is really, really good because it's really got my body in tune. Well, I've got in tune with my body and I only eat when I need to eat. I don't eat at times like I used to in certain situations where I'm not hungry and it's due to me not feeling happy. Uh, not feeling in a good mood at all or having something bring up intense emotions in me and me wanting to stuff myself down with food so no emotional eating whatsoever and not eating out of boredom or other various things that so many people in today's world are doing with food most people eating when they don't need to eat whatsoever and this is why so many times people have ill health and they don't have stable energy levels throughout the day and optimal hormone production and all these other different benefits that you can get from daily intermittent fasting. And what I say is when I first embarked on this journey, for a year, I did the 16-8 method where you fast for around 16 hours a day and eat for around an eight hour window. And if you don't know about this, 
fully and you want to learn about it, I'll put a link for a video that I created recently called How to Do Intermittent Fasting for Serious Weight Loss, a complete guide. And I would highly recommend you go and check that out if you want to learn how you could do the 16 8 intermittent fasting method in the most safe and effective way for you. And as I just mentioned, the title has weight loss in it, but if your goal is weight gain or muscle gain, so to speak, you can get those benefits from it as well. It's all about how you're training alongside intermittent fasting. If you're doing certain types of exercise that's not building muscle whilst doing intermittent fasting, then you're going to strip off more of body fat and have less muscle development. But obviously, if you're doing bodybuilding or CrossFit or even calisthenics or other forms of exercise that actually tear the muscle fibers and grow muscle fiber then obviously then you would gain more muscle mass and you're obviously going to keep a low body fat percentage at the same time like i mentioned i have with the intermittent fasting and then after that period of time i actually switched to doing one meal a day for seven months and the reason why was i'd been aware of this for a very long time and i tried to do it at one point throughout my 16 8 intermittent fasting journey and i found my body didn't want to do it and then once i had to travel for around 24 hours and i was so hungry at the end of the day so i went to an all-you-can-eat vegan buffet i just ate so much food and i found that i wasn't hungry until the next evening so my body naturally sent me in the direction of switching to one meal a day and that's why i embarked on this for seven months and i found with this it helped reduce my body fat percentage even more so i could get a more ripped or shredded look if you want to call it either one of those things and i found that all of the benefits that i mentioned i got the 16 8 intermittent fasting method just increased even more and the reason why that would have been when i was doing one meal a day because i'm not now and i'll talk about that in a short while is because it is shown with intermittent fasting, the longer that you fast, the greater the hormonal benefits are. So that is why I would have got way more significant benefits than I already was in comparison to the 16-8 method. And then I found after around seven months, my body just didn't want to eat like that anymore. So I switched back to the 16-8 method and what i will say is when i say i did the 16 8 method for a year and then went back to it after one meal a day i would always fast around 16 hours a minimum but then there was a lot of times where i would do 17 18 19 20 hours so it would vary from day to day but the minimum would be 16 hours anywhere up to around 21 hours and then when i switched to one meal a day i would normally fast around 22 to 25 hours a day and then just eat one big meal so i'm still on the intermittent fasting journey and who knows my body might want to do one meal a day in the future sometimes when i'm traveling for long periods of time i will do one meal a day and some days it just wants to eat one meal a day so what i do now is intuitive intermittent fasting but i always do use the my fasting app on my phone and make sure i'm always doing a minimum of 16 hours and then if my body wants to do longer then I will just go for as long as my body tells me that it wants to go for. And this is what I recommend to everyone. Because I found on this journey at certain points, I tried to force myself to fast longer than my body wanted to. And then it would put my body into too much of a stress response because intermittent fasting is a form of stress. And it would start to have some negative effects on me. And this is something that I had to learn from my own experience. So hopefully you can learn about this through my own experience that I'm sharing with you in this. So really listen to your body and don't push it too much too quickly. And I recommend anyone that gets into this, first start off with the 16-8 method. And then if you feel naturally drawn to actually fast for longer and you have a desire to just fast longer and eat for a shorter period of time during your eating window so you can get more certain significant benefits, then you can slowly increase the time that you are fasting for on a regular basis. Slow and steady wins the race. So then it's easier for you to do and start shortening your eating window over time as well. And that will just make it a lot easier for you to maybe go from 16-8 method to one meal a day like I did, if that's what you're interested in. If you're someone that wants to learn about how to do one meal a day in the most safe and effective way for you, I would recommend checking out my video that I put a link for up above that has around 400,000 views or more now. And it is like one of the biggest how to eat one meal a day videos on YouTube and one of the most informative ones that will help you get on the one meal a day diet journey and get it to work the best for you. And what I would say is from my own personal experience, restricting calories was never a good idea. There were certain times that I would try to significantly reduce my calorie intake by counting my calories and it just didn't work for me whatsoever. For some people it may work, but for me, I train 
on a very regular basis very hard I run multiple businesses I have a lot going on in my life and I have quite a bit of muscle development and muscle burns a lot more calories up than fat so for me my calorie expenditure daily is very very high and I already have a super low body fat percentage so it's not something that is a good idea for me whatsoever it's normally really good for people that want to lose excess body fat that are overweight but for skinny people that's not a good idea whatsoever so I found for me to be able to do daily intermittent fasting that I just needed to listen to my body and eat as many calories as I possibly could within one meal, if I was eating one meal a day, or if I was doing the six and eight method around two meals, trying to eat as many calories as I would. I normally eat lighter within the day when I'd eat my first meal. So my body isn't using loads of energy for digestion, so I'd have more energy throughout the day. And then when it gets to nighttime, then I'd eat a huge big meal. And if you want to see what I eat in a day with the 16 8 intermittent fasting diet, I have a playlist that has every single video that I've made on this specific subject so if you haven't seen that i'll put a link for it up above and that can just give you an idea of how much food you need to be eating if you're someone that wants to increase your muscle mass with intermittent fasting whilst also reducing your body fat percentage at the same time because yeah as i mentioned it just wasn't working for me and one thing i need to add on to that is i just found that my cravings would start to get out of control and it just wasn't making me feel good whatsoever when trying the calorie restriction. So that's just something to be very mindful of. We're all different, so it's about trying out some things. If it's not working for you, then try something else. And I'll give a quick few tips. What I learned from my own experience to make intermittent fasting easy, eat enough food, don't calorie restrict, and make sure that you are well hydrated throughout the day. The more hydrated you are, the easier it's gonna be to fast because when you're in an intermittent fasted state, your body is detoxifying, so it helps remove certain toxic substances and it helps you stay fuller as well whilst you're in the intermittent fasted state. Third one, keep busy and preoccupied because if you're sitting around on Instagram just looking at food photos while you're in the fastest state, it's gonna be really hard to do it. And just make sure that you're very aware of if your body needs to eat, become very in tune with your body. So many people are too much in their head, they're not in their body, and listen to the signs of when you actually do need to eat. And if you start to feel really hungry at one point, ask yourself, am I just bored? Am I very emotional? Is there something else that's coming up within me that wants me to go in the direction of just eating food to stuff down what is coming up within me? And make sure you just watch as many intermittent fasting videos as you possibly can to learn as much information on this as possible. And this one I didn't actually do, but join some intermittent fasting support groups on Facebook. There's many of them. So you can share your journey with people. And if you have any issues going on or you want some information or advice from people on intermittent fasting, then you can ask in one of those support groups that you could search up on Facebook and make sure when you get on this intermittent fasting diet that you don't get on it just because it's another fad diet or a yo-yo diet that you just want to do because you think it's cool or some other reasons have a big why as to why you are doing it because for me my why was so big I really wanted the physique so much that I was willing to do everything and anything possible to do it so for me it was easy to get onto intermittent fasting. And what most people are gonna find, this is the last thing that I'm gonna mention, is around a two week period when you get into intermittent fasting is when you can start to feel more hungry. Because when you feel hungry, your body's producing a hormone known as ghrelin, and it is used to your normal eating pattern. So it will start to release ghrelin around your normal eating times and obviously when you switch into intermittent fasting it's not used to that but all you need to do is push through be busy drink enough water do other various things that i've mentioned to distract yourself and just get on with the rest of your day so you're not focused upon food and by doing all this within that two week window your ghrelin production will change to your new eating patterns with intermittent fasting which makes it way easier for people so at first it can feel harder for you to do it but as with many different new disciplines and healthy changes you're making in life it's normally the hardest when you're originally forming the habit but then as you become used to it and your body's used to it it's just way easier to sustain and your body just becomes way more efficient at burning your own body fat as fuel after that two week period or around that time window so that's it for this video if you have any questions for me 
leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down and please share this video with anyone else that you think would love to hear about my own personal two year journey and transformation with daily intermittent fasting. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below to receive a lot more informational videos from me on a regular basis on intermittent fasting, one meal a day, calisthenics, weight loss, calisthenics workout and progression videos and all different types of videos to share with you the right information that will help you to get the results that you desire such as improving your health, your fitness levels, your energy levels and giving you the body that you desire like I've managed to and many people that have listened to my informational videos on YouTube and done the things consistently to get those results and many more. So if those type of videos sound good to you make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always Stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.